then came the sad day when our old master died. I went there when I was about 16. Some of the other boys were still younger, some a little older. When my master left his body, we were, we were a dozen penniless boys and unknown boys. But together, we conceived that this ideal had to be spread. We shall begin a universal religion here and now. We will not wait. We will show the spirituality of the Hindus, the mercifulness of the Buddhists, the activities of the Christians, and the brotherhood of Muhammadans by our practical lives. We had no friends. Who would listen to a few boys with their crank notions? Nobody. At least in India, boys are nobodies. Just think of it. A dozen boys telling people vast, big ideas and saying that they're determined to work these ideas in life. <laughs> Against us were a hundred powerful organizations struggling hard to nip us in the bud. Thus went on a band of boys. Everybody laughed. The only thing we got from those around us was a kick and a curse. That was all. Of course, we had to beg from door to door for our own food. Got a piece of bread from here and there. The refuse of everything. We got hold of a broken down building with hissing coke gas. Hissing underneath. And because it was the cheapest, we went into that house and lived there. Who would sympathize with us? None. None. Except one. That lady, Sri Ramakrishna's wife. Her sympathy brought blessings and hope. There have been days when the mutt was without a grain of food. If the rice was collected from begging, there was no salt to take it with. On some days there would be only rice and salt. Boiled bimba leaves, rice and salt. This was the menu for a month at a stretch. Ten years were spent without a ray of light. Ten more years with my health breaking all the time. Sometime one meal at nine in the evening, another at eight in the morning, another after two days, another after three days. I see no chances of success while remaining near Calcutta. In Calcutta live my mother and two brothers. Since my father's death, it is going very hard with them. They even have to go fasting at times. To crown all, some of the relatives drove them away from the ancestral residence. A matter of course in litigation. <laughs> मिले घूरते जा I have seen this ideal man and yet fail myself to get on with anything to the end. This is my profound misery. No compromise is the watchword. This is the ideal and this has got to be carried out. If we meet the king, though we die, we must give him a bit of our minds. If the peasant, the same. My master used to say, laying his arm upon my shoulder. Naren, you are a hero. The very sight of you inspires me with courage. Ah, Ami Beer. 